Yo what's up guys it's Aptrix here in today's video we'll be taking a look at a brand new version of WinLater Frost which is specially released for unsupported Snapdragon processors and Mali GPU Android devices it is known as WinLater Frost Virgil and you guys will be able to see the minimum requirements for this version of WinLater Frost the Virgil version will work for all chips like MediaTek Exynos Kirin as well as Unisoc and even Adreno for unsupported Snapdragon processors the version of WinLater Frost which we'll be using in today's video is going to be the WinLater Frost Glyph C 7.1.3 version 3 now similarly yesterday a normal version 3 of winlater frost was also released for snapdragon processor android devices but we'll be testing out the mali gpu version so let's start setting it up right away as usual you just need to open the app and allow it some time for all the assets to be loaded and while everything is being loaded do let me know in the comment section down below guys this is my redmi k50i actually it is my brother's and uh, he destroyed it pretty early on <laughs> I'm using it as Mali GPU Android device but I was thinking should I upgrade Mali GPU Android device and if so then which phone should I buy should I buy a phone with Exynos processor or MediaTek or any other like Kirin or Unisoc let me know in the comment section down below which Mali GPU Android device should I purchase anyways there we go the initialization has been completed well I forgot to mention one thing right here is the change log added box 64 0.3.2 the latest version change measures the version override from 3.1 to 2.1 for more stability updated prefixes added environment as well and the developer has made a note that this is the last version of winlater frost for glipsy version whereas the normal version 3 is using the coffins mode or winlater c mode as its base version nonetheless let's go to settings afterwards check out the new box 64 version that we'll be using in today's video afterwards tap on this plus button set the safe flex level to 0 big block to 3 afterwards dynamic forward to 512 afterwards tap on the ok button and then tap on enter the next step you can simply tap on plus to create a new container we'll set the screen size as usual and the wine version is fixated to wine 9.16 the virtual graphics driver is 23.1.9 and DX wrapper is Wine D3D and in terms of audio driver we'll set it to Pulse Audio. Graphics GPU name we'll scroll down and set it to Intel UHD Graphics 630. Video memory size set it to 4GB. Afterwards in terms of advanced settings we'll set the Box64 preset as the preset one which we just created. Set the startup selection as aggressive and there we go our container has been created. Let's run it to see what's new in this emulator and how well does it actually work. The main developer of WinLater Frost has also mentioned WinLater Mali is actually much more feature rich. That's because if you just go and tap on the start button in WinLater Mali, you get pre-configured presets for many games that work on Mali GPU Android devices. But in WinLater Frost Mali version, you get special options like fixes, input bridge support and also this is the most important thing make sure to go to this section afterwards set up physics as well as vc reddish this is very important step if you are using a mali gpu android device or else your games will not work so make sure to complete both of these settings for the emulator to work properly in winlater mali you get pre-configured setup for it nonetheless once both of them have been added here you guys will also be able to change the wine d3d versions depending on your preferences with all the setup completed let's try out grand theft auto 4 now i am pretty sure that this will not work properly on my mali gpu Android device because in my past experiences it has the Mali G16 GPU which does not give proper graphical output while Windows emulation usually you will see a black screen or graphical issues while trying to emulate some games on this Android device which is very unfortunate and that's the main reason why I am thinking about buying a different Mali GPU Android device maybe with an Exynos processor instead of MediaTek the next time but here we go Grand Theft Auto 4 has successfully started on this device but I am pretty sure that there will be some graphical issues. If there are no graphical issues then that would be pretty amazing and also my first time playing GTA 4 on this Android device. Anyways you can decrease your game's graphics according to your preferences. Once that has been done just go ahead and apply the settings afterwards tap on the A button and here we go let's go to the start section and yeah GTA 4 is loading on this Mali GPU Android device. Win later Frost Mali version was pretty easy to set up in just few steps it started working and here we go at the bottom you will be able to see starting a new game looks like the game has successfully started i'll just go ahead and press the a button to skip through the cutscene and all right <laughs> the game just crashed it looks like i spoke too soon so obviously this game will not work on my mali gpu android device but let's restart the game and try it out once again and no guys unfortunately it crashed once again and the reason behind it let me show you guys the mali gpu in this android device is not supported in any windows emulator properly the mali g16 gpu but let's try out another game to see if it works or not let's go with gta vice city this is going to be a funny test i am 
I'm pretty sure it should work, but who knows? It might crash even on this trash game. GTA Vice City also crashed, so let's try out Devil May Cry 3 Special Edition. As far as I know, this game will also boot, but again, it will have crashing issues. So there we go, the game actually booted as you will be able to see. But will it be playable though? I don't believe so because of incompatible GPU. Anyways, that's going to be it for today's video. Be sure to let me know in the comment section down below if I should test out the normal Winlater Frost version 3 on my Snapdragon processor Android device. Anyways, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.